Full stun charge, dear bugger all. Are you sure you've never seen anything like this before? This is entirely new. Secure isolation room. Someone needs to stay with her at all times. Agreed. It's okay, Deco. We'll make the place nice for a mate. You said this would stop. I know. Something's preventing the DNA inhibitors from working. Three transformations in 24 hours? Magna, she's getting stronger and crazier. I realize that, Will. We'll find something. I promise. Get in touch with Henry. I'll be in the lab. Yeah, we're backtracking from the first incident. Look, I know things are crazy over there, but... Seriously, it's like working with one hand tied by my back here. Uh, okay, I'm just gonna pretend that's your frustration talking. And you're welcome. How is she? She's not good. Another episode? She's sedated now, she's under watch. Dr. Magnus said that she'd be fine. These things take time, Gavin. It'd be nice if we could find something to help her out. Right. right. Well, I don't even know what we're looking for. A cocoon, a husk, excrement. Okay, will you stop with the list making already? Please. Sorry. And stop with the constant apologizing. Sorry. My mother was Canadian. Mazeltov. Okay, so you get the call, and it's about a super large gorilla, really? Well, I'm protocol is we, we check every tip, which began here, a block-by-block block search. Which we just retraced. Now, are you sure you never found, saw, smelled anything? No. Just suddenly, Abby wasn't Abby anymore. I didn't know people could change like that. Yeah, well, they can. Some of us more than others. It's just it's rare to be able to control it like I do. Sorry, you, you, you mean you, you can change into... You know what a werewolf is? Close enough. Oh, my God. Oh, don't worry, Gavin. I haven't devoured a Canadian in months. You've been studying transformation since the 19th century and still we're in the dark about this? I'm trying everything, Will. 
every DNA lock I try, the creature overcomes it. This is a, a genetic tidal wave, and I have no idea how to stop it, let alone what started it's it. It's a virus. She's the host. I will find a way. I know what it's like, Magnus, to lose yourself. It's happened to me twice. When your body is not your own. I need information. Anything to help us understand what we're dealing with. I'm going to reduce her meds slightly. Just to let her resurface. <sighs> so risky, Magnus. You need to talk to her, Will. You need to try to keep her grounded in this reality if you can. Anything, no matter how obscure, could give us a way to cure her. I know how close you two are. And that may be our best weapon at this point. Sorry. It's all right. We'll fix this. We always do. Time. No seizures, no transformations for the past four hours. Get some rest. I've got her. I'm fine. You've been with her for two days, Will. You need food and sleep. I'm not leaving her. Okay, then. Me neither. Music? Yeah, sure. Nothing too loud, though. Don't worry, mate. My sex pistols days are long gone. Where am I? Abby? Will, what's wrong with me? Thank God we thought we lost you. What? Why can't I understand you? Are you? Don't be like that. Just speak to me. I am speaking. Is she? What's the matter with both of you? Abby, stay calm. I can't understand you. What the hell? Please just speak to me. She's singing. Why is she singing, Abby? Oh my god. Something's very wrong with me. Of course. Right there. It's fascinating. The superior temporal sulcus, right? It's where we process complex oral patterns. Her synapses are firing like mad. So when she speaks, it comes out as song. Because her DNA is being overwritten, she can only perceive certain harmonic frequencies. Music? Music. Well, explains why she couldn't understand me when I spoke to her. That may be the only way that she can communicate with us. No. Yes. No. We need to find out what happened to her. After you. Hello, Abby. Abby, can you hear me? Do you know where you are? You look so worried. You've been here for two days. We've never left your side. There's something you're not telling me. This is insane. What did you just say? Do, do you recall anything before you woke up? Don't avoid the question, am I going to die? Magnus! Your body's been taken. Something new and deadly. 
something we've never seen. Have I become a monster? We never use that word. You remember nothing, some kind of creature, an alleyway. The fifth ward. Something attacked you, I don't remember. I just woke up here. I need to know, to know the truth now. No matter how bad it Your is. Your condition is grave. Don't know how to save you. But we won't give up. I feel so tired. Abby. Abby? Okay, so seeing as how we can't exactly call in a full forensics team, your call, not mine, I say we do a door-to-door -door canvassing of the neighborhood. Someone's got to have heard or seen something. If someone saw something, it would be headline news. Most abnormals are pretty good at staying out of sight. Yes. We're dealing with monsters, but the basic tenets of detective work still apply here. Dude. Sorry, I said the M word. Please don't werewolf on me. How? Hyper ex Never mind. Scan the area. Full spectrum. Where are you going? I'm going to talk to red list dealers in the area. Criminals? Yes, criminals. Which is why I'm not bringing you with me. Might as well have a big sign on you that says narc. Call me if you find anything. Uh, Henry? I said I'll be back. I found something. To do. It's coming from uh, uh. Oh. that is a cocoon, isn't it? You say you found this against a brick wall. Behind some garbage. Actually, I found it. So what is it, Red List? Likely. It's very similar to the larval pocket of a galvanic blood tick. Um, what? They often partner with parasitical organisms, one specifically designed to mutate human DNA. They're extremely rare. I mean, one would never be found in an urban environment by accident. Which means this cocoon was deliberately placed in that alleyway in order to test this parasite on a human victim. So somebody puts the parasite into the blood tick, Abby finds a blood tick cocoon. And becomes infected with a microscopic parasite we've never even heard of before. The cocoon was placed in the alley by whom? Hollow Earth insurgents. We've never seen a parasite mutate this rapidly. We can't even identify it. So all these angry monsters, abnormals, from the center of the Earth, they did this. They're tracking us. They would have known that Abby is connected, however discreetly, to my sanctuary. They'd want to know if I could prevent the mutation or not. You were totally set up, Doc. This is very bad. If that creature becomes fully realized, the normal human beings will become a means to populate the surface with hollow earth abnormals. Total foothold scenario. So Abby is a test case for a full-on monster invasion. Excuse me. I need to go throw up. My mom used to sing to me. In fact, when I... can't remember her voice, I just think of all those... cheesy songs she used to sing to me. If I... If I fell down or if I couldn't sleep, if I had a nightmare, 
should sing to me. And then after she died. So thanks. For contracting the one condition that makes me do something I hate. Look, I'll make you a deal. I'll try to sing. If you stick around a little while longer. That sound like a deal. Just stay, just stay, Abby, please, just stay, just stay. I didn't mean to intrude. Did you mean to be such a waste of space that she had to do your job for you? Okay, I can see that you're in pain. Maybe I'll rejoin the FBI and your girlfriend can become the mutant of the week. I'm sorry. Did you keep her in sight? Did you even know that she found that stupid cocoon? How do I make this right? You can't. Will. Hey. <clears throat> How are you feeling? Will. Your name is Will. Abby. No, not Abby. There's only me, and I'm in control now. What is this place, this feeling I have? I want to talk to Abby. Have you felt this feeling before? Being alive like never before. What have you done to her? Lightning in my veins. Every minute I breathe. Who are you? I'm the thing you fear the most. I'm here to give you a dose of reality. I want to talk to you. I'm only talking to Abby. Sickness without a cure I'm the loved one who disappears I'm the thing in the dark The dream that feels real The light that goes out The terror you feel I want to feel so much more than this Come on, handsome, give us a kiss Let's start again a new evolution, a small warning, it's gonna get bloody. You're gonna wish I was never born. You're gonna wish you were never born. I'm gonna like being born. I'm gonna like being born. Any, uh... No. Sedation's still holding. Look, anything you need, bro. I'm a guy that turns into a giant man-dog. I'll give you blood, kidney, stem cells, you name it. Why don't you take a break and make a sandwich or something? For me. 
Not you. I got her, Will. You remember that song that you and Erica sang to us at that pub in Dublin? Parting Glass. Yeah. I always liked that song. Time to sit a while. There is a fair maid in this town who sorely has my heart beguiled. Her rosy cheeks and ruby lips alone, she has my heart in thrall. So fill to me the parting glass Good night and joy be with you all Greetings everyone. Sorry for the delay. How are you all holding up? Hello, Helen. Some problems, I'm afraid. Complications have arisen. Need some answers right away. A few away. concerns about our direction. Okay, one of the... Sandra is giving birth in a zone that's not been cleared. Funds have been diverted to a traceable account. People are not safe in the city any longer. The government's asking for our tax return. Uh, fine, let Suggest me... Suggest you switch to gold. It's easier to unload. Is there something we can give her to ease her labor pains? I don't like the use of force, but we need some more protection. A dummy corporation won't make this go away. We need a new accountant. Shipments of new guns. I think she's having triplets. Need to transfer funds. Risk of intervention. Risk of losing lives. Risk of going bankrupt. Risk of getting hives. I love money. Stop! The Samurai needs some sugar and keep her in the shade. Gold's a bold suggestion, but too risky, I'm afraid. Who cares about an audit? We've been through that before. Your guns arrive tomorrow. Let me know if you need more. But, um, thank you. Doctor, risk in doing business. Since when is that hot news? Have we ever shied away from things that others wouldn't do? If you think we've lost our way, feel free to step aside. There's other pressing business. I'm afraid we're out of time. Magnus? You okay? <clears throat> yes. Sorry. Where were we? <laughs> Abby? No. Abby, listen to me. Abby, come down from there. This is you and me. I know you're frightened. No, it's better this way. I don't know who I am. I'll help you through this. You know I've been there before. Listen to me. You feel lost, out of control, like a ship in a storm. Feels like I'm drowning. I'm going to die
will find It's getting worse It's taking control now Don't you give up hope I'm fading away Would you do any different? Please just let me go I've been holding back You've been holding back I don't want to lie Please to you anymore Do you think I'm the one? Cause I think you're the one There I said it I Please can't take it back go. This is not how it ends Here amongst friends A future we'll never see Abby, please You were holding back Just I was holding stay. back I know it's hard But it's time Just to let me go stay. It's taking control Just I'm losing stay. control I love you Completely new pathways in half a cerebral cortex. You said the singing would help keep her human. And it did. Temporarily. We've tried every musical key, even subsonic frequencies. This isn't a virus, Will. This is a new life form overtaking her entire physiology. You think there's no cure? I think we should prepare for the worst. No, no. I do not accept that. Okay, there is a way to save her. We just haven't found it yet. The timeline is not good. Well, then put her on ice until we can understand this. Cryogenics might just kill her outright. Or make the creature even stronger. We have no idea. We'll figure it out! What is the point of this entire place if we can't save the people that... It's not over yet. that you leave me the mysteries of joy and of pain I will search for light in the darkness though I stumble through shadow and shade oh if you are with me of whom shall I be afraid you have lifted me up when I've fallen and driven the ghost from my door you have comforted me in my sorrow Wiped my brow when I've been sick and sore You have shared in all of my triumphs And blessed the crops that we laid Oh, if you are with me Of whom shall I be afraid? Oh, if you are with me Of whom shall I be afraid? Of course, it makes sense. Do you see it now, sweetheart? Thank you, Father. Never lose faith.
All right, I'm listening. Of course there are risks, but hear me out. My father had a theory about the origins of abnormal life, specifically that of the most powerful beings amongst us, vampires, haps, shapeshifters, that their particular DNA aggressively sought to define itself. Which is how those races were born. Exactly. Now, she is being consumed by cells that are determined to become something more. I've been working on this night and day. This is the only solution we have, Will. Tell me. If we harvest a larval segmented amulet and implant it into her stomach wall, there is a chance that the invading DNA will be attracted to the simpler, more malleable life form. Wait a second, so you're talking about creating another creature and putting it inside of Abby? If it takes, the analyte will develop rapidly, within hours. But Abby's system will sustain no further damage. OK, that sounds positive. Until the new life form reaches maturity, at which point it will emerge from her body rather violently. This is your solution? Why don't you just bore a hole in her brain or use leeches? Once this new creature leaves her body, I can save her. Are you willing to bet her life on that? Because I'm not. There will be trauma, Will, I realize. But if I time this right... No. That's not what's happening here, is it? So you're so intoxicated by the possibility of creating some amazing new life form that you're ignoring other options. That is not the case, I assure you. Throwing a monster inside my girlfriend and then patching her up after it chews its way out is not an answer. I've already started an ovulation cycle on the analid. What? I intend to harvest the lava within the hour. I tell you, Will. My only concern is for Abby's well-being. It's my call. This is what we're doing, Will. We'll see about that. Henry, Declan, we have a situation. Nice work, H. Your finest hour. Will. You too, Deco. Hope you're proud. The doc is trying to save her life. If it were Erica down there, you wouldn't be such a suck ass right now. Don't push. Oh, I'm just getting started. That's enough. Both of you. As soon as this is over, you're free. Magnus's orders. You are sure about this? I'm going to prep the OR. You know, I've done combat medicine, but I'm not a surgeon. If you'd rather someone else was with you, Dealing with a hybrid species, Declan. If something goes wrong, I need you there. Upper abdomen for the incision point. Scalpel. Patient consent. It's not your call. Doesn't that count for anything? It'll be over soon, dude. Just to take She's gonna easy. be dead soon, Henry. You're letting your emotions run the game, dude. And what are you suddenly? Huh? Mr. Stoic? I trust Magnus Will. So should you. Please, man. Please, Henry. I gotta get out of here! I gotta get out of here! Don't do it! Five, three, four. Five, three, four. Thanks. You're welcome.
Gestation time, two hours. Ultrasound shows rapid growth, but no movement. Blood pressure's crashing. Six units of blood on standby. Saline wide open. Relief containment. On it. This is happening more rapidly than I'd hoped. All right, send her red. She's going into shock. Keep this IV in her. Magnus! Keep her still. I need to give her an exit point. There's too much movement. I can't make a clean incision. She needs more sedation. Dear God. Charging. Clear. We got her. You okay? No. Traumatized. But too much singing will do that to a person. From what I heard, it was kind of romantic. You okay. disaster proof our relationship nothing will like I'm cursed and I feel like anybody who gets close to me has got a target on their back but you didn't lose me and you won't okay Good at it. No, I'm not good at it, so just stop, okay? <laughs> and I have a mountain of paperwork to do because of you, so mm. you owe me. You go. I'll be here.
There you are. Haven't seen you all day. I just need some space. As long as you're not hiding from me. Well, you obviously have something to say to me. Besides, thank you for saving her. It's not very sincere. Out with it, please. It worked. It did. That procedure should have never happened. But you never met a compromise you didn't steamroll right through. Just hit close to home. And you shut me down. You've been a wonderful soldier, Will. You have done everything I've asked you and more. You could run this sanctuary, hell, the entire network, brilliantly. Because you always fight for what you believe is right, even when we disagree. I'm not too proud to admit that I am very used to getting my own way. Sometimes to a fault. Don't think you're gonna melt me with that British charm of yours. Perish for a bit. You never compromise well. And that's the man I hired to be my protege. How am I doing? Honestly, I couldn't be more proud.